Hi, my name is Jonah minkoff Cern from the Democracy is for People campaign at Public Citizen. I'm here on behalf of the United for the People Coalition, um, which includes People for the American Way, Move to Amend, Free Speech for, for People, um, and Common Cause, as well as a growing number of organizations which have signed on as endorsers and are participating in the two-year anniversary events um, to protest the anniversary of the Citizens United, the FEC Supreme Court ruling that says that corporations can give unlimited amount to our elections. We're very excited that you are here today at our third, uh, ho third house organizing parties as we plan for the two-year anniversary. These organizing parties, you'll hear a clip of our, of our feature on the Dylan Radigan show on MSNBC, which took place just earlier today, uh, Monday, January 9th. Before you, before you hear that click, I want, clip, I wanted to give you a few pointers, things to make sure that you're doing as you prepare your final steps for your action, your anniversary action. First, you've probably already picked a target by now, but if you haven't, there are ideas on how you can occupy the courts at move2amend.org and how you can occupy the corporations at citizen.org. You can also just organize a simple rally in a public place where you're holding signs and gathering petition signatures. So it's not too late to plan an action, but now's the time to pick your target. You want to plan a time and place. And when you're doing that, think about where people are and where people, where is a good public place. You want to think about the weather. We didn't pick the anniversary time and we definitely wouldn't have picked January 21st, but you know the weather in your area and you know that if you need to plan for people to be cold, to be rained on, to be snowed on, and think about that ahead of time. How are you going to react? How are you going to keep the event short and punchy enough if it's freezing outside or if the weather is inclement? Also, make sure you sign up your event at unitedforthepeople.org. That's united with the number for thepeople.org. And that's the coalition site where all the organizations that we're working with ranging from Greenpeace to 350.org to the Communication Workers of America, will be driving people to the event to look at, to, to find out where they can find an action near them. So make sure you sign up at unitedforthepeople.org. And once you've signed up, you can modify your event on that site yourself. You can look to see who's RSVP'd. You can invite more people to your event. Just make sure that you're using that site actively to promote your event. Once you sign up your event, make sure right away, right now, that you get a permit if you haven't done so already. Don't think just because your event is in a public space on a public sidewalk that you won't run into trouble if you don't try to get a permit. You can call your local city hall or town hall or your local police station to find out what the permitting process is. Uh, but don't let, don't let it stop you if you're too late. Try to have a small event anyway. Um, but make sure that you do your best to get a permit and that you, that, that you go through the process. You can invite speakers right now and decide, or, or decide who out of your group will speak. If it's a large event, try to get local city council members, local legislators, local well-known people to speak at your event that can both make your event more significant for the media and will draw more people to come for your event. Also, make sure that you are doing outreach for your event. Know that while many groups, like the other 98%, and the groups we've listed before, are going to be driving people to the United for the People website, that it's really up to you whether people come. It's absolutely essential that you outreach for your event and that you don't expect that people will just turn up because of these sites. When you're outreaching, different ways you can outreach are putting up flyers. We've emailed you sample flyers and you can find them on unitedforthepeople.org. Um, you can set up a Facebook page and use social media. We have a document that we've e emailed most of you on how to use social media to advertise for your event. Send out emails to community groups. Speak at organizations, at local events. Connect with your Occupy if you're not already connected or part of an Occupy, your local Occupy. Be creative. Think about PSAs, public service announcements on your local radio or local TV stations. 
but make sure that you remind people and continue to follow up with them. Don't think just because you put it out there once that people will come. The key to organizing, 90% of organizing, is reminding people again and again and making sure that they come. Also, essential to your event is inviting the media. When a tree, we don't want events where trees are falling in the forest and no one hears. You may, your event may not be big enough to, to attract the media or your media may not be interested, but it's definitely worth the effort to try. So contact the media, send out a press release. We're, we've sent you sample media releases and you can also find those on unitedforthepeople.org. Um, so send out a sample, a sample release or a media advisory about a week before your event and then send a press release a day or two before the event. And just like outreach, the key to getting media there is building relationships with people and reminding them again and again. So maybe call them a week out, if you're, especially if you're in a smaller area, let them know the event's happening, and then remind them a day before the event and then the day of the event themselves. Make sure that they're coming. Remind them again and again. It's up to you to turn the media out. Also, in preparing for your event, you want to make and or order signs. At Public Citizen, we've created great signs for you, such as the one here, I am a person, um, and you can order those through us. We're, we're trying to recover our costs, so we're asking if you order five, that you, give a, that you send us a check for $7. If you order 10 from us, that you send us a check for $15. And similarly, as it goes up, the prices decrease a little bit. We're just trying to cover our costs of printing and mailing. Um, also, movetoamend.org has signs that they have up on their site that you can order from them, again, at cost to cover their printing and mailing costs. Um, but these are great ways to help build your event and to help us have unity throughout the country, to have similar signs at all of our rallies. But also be creative. People are planning on building puppets in many, in many areas, like corporate giant puppets. Um, or make your own signs. Um, an idea is... I will, I will believe that a corporation is a person when, and fill in the blank. The, the famous one now is when, when Texas executes one. But think of your own uh, that are creative. Um, also, um, make sure for your rally that you have a megaphone or microphone. If you don't have one yourself, a uh, local union is a good place to ask. Uh, for a megaphone, and you can see a list of, of endorsing organizations on our website, on unitedforthepeople.org, and those can help you think about groups to reach out to in your community um, that have local chapters. So Communication Workers of America is almost everywhere around the country, and they are strongly endorsing this event. They might be a place to ask, can you borrow a megaphone if you don't have one? Finally, make sure that you document your event. It's absolutely essential that we're getting the word out about what you did. Document the event, take pictures, take videos, put your videos up on YouTube and send us the links. Um, send the pictures and the video to your local media. It's a great way to help get local, more local media. Tweet out what happened at your event, put it up on your Facebook. Make sure that you send us at amendment at citizen.org and to move to amend and, and other groups that we're working with, send, you, send the information about what happened with your event so we can share it. So that's, so that's it. Those are some tips. Obviously, there's a lot more, and please be in touch with us if you have questions over the next week and a half as we prepare for the anniversary events. We're so excited at the incredible energy that's building around the country for this, that we were on the Dylan Radigan show on MSNBC today. We were on Democracy Now! recently on Voice of America, and the list goes on of media outlets who are already covering the anniversary events, and the amount of places where this is happening, over 150 registered already throughout the country, is well beyond what we believed was possible when we started planning this, and how big these events are is also well beyond what we could have imagined. Also tell your friends as you plan these events to plan one in their community. It's your personal outreach, each of your personal outreach that's going to build this movement and make this these successful. And also remember, January 20, 20th and 21st events are an important step in this movement. They're not the end. So think about what you're going to do next. Think about passing local resolutions. Think about passing local ballot initiatives and get involved in working to pass state initiatives. So thank you so much for coming tonight. 
Thank you everyone for your amazing work and we look forward to working you, with you as we move forward.